Just kidding. <laughs> this is a great start to the show. Guys, I haven't been on stage in uh, a little while, and I was so, so excited to be here that I knocked over my mic. Thanks for being here with us today uh, at Fatigue Fest, put on by Stagehand Live as a part of Chinook Blast. Let's try that again. Here we go. Come on over, baby. Bring a bottle of wine. We'll smoke a little Mary Jane. Start the night right. I got vinyl on the shelf. I've been dying to play. I'm turning off my phone. I want you to do the same. Next, I'm gonna leave that up to you. But if you're wondering about the things that I wanna do, I want your hands on my body, hands on my body, baby, hands on my body, hands on my body, baby. Show me that you want me, show me that you want me, baby, hands on my body, baby. Hello, everybody. My name is Mariah Stokes, and I am so, so excited to be here today. Um, it's an honor and a privilege to be on stage in front of you folks, even if it is just virtually. It's just uh, feels really good to be back up here, and I'm very, very thankful uh, for the opportunity to play for you today. This next song is called Rebound, and it was actually my last single, and it's about being in love with somebody who's still in love with their ex. So I hope you don't relate, but if you do, this one's for you. He almost fills the space of a love that She'll come over, but she won't stay. 
That one's called Rebound. Thanks for listening. Um, I'm, I'm wondering, wondering, where is everybody tuning in from? If you're watching live or watching after, let us know where you're watching from because we do know that this is a Calgary-based festival. But the cool thing about online shows is we actually get to meet people from all over the world. So uh, let me know where you're watching from. Uh, on that note, I'm going to play a little song called Christmas Arizona. It's not about the holiday. It's actually about a very, very small town in Arizona called Christmas. And it was inspired actually when I was back in my hometown of Stavely, Alberta. I'm not sure if you're familiar uh, with Stavely, Alberta. It's a tiny, tiny little town about an hour south of Calgary. And uh, I was hanging out with a buddy next to my parents' farm. And he started telling me how he was buying an old truck from Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. And it was kind of interesting because I got a little bit of a songwriter's app. And I was like, man, there's definitely a song in there. I don't know what it is yet, but I'm going to find it. So I started thinking about if I bought an old truck from Broken Arrow, Oklahoma, where would I go? And the answer was obvious, Arizona, because it, bro 
rhymes with Oklahoma. And that'd make this song a little bit easier to write. And so I started looking for towns that I could drive to in Arizona from Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. And I found Phoenix and was like, that's cool. But a lot of people go to Phoenix. I don't know if I want to go there. So I kept looking. And I found a little tiny town <laughs> about an hour outside of Phoenix called Christmas. That's the name of the town. So let's take a, a little drive there. songwriters because all the towns that you drive through in order from Broken Arrow to Christmas rhyme sorta check it out Christmas Arizona there's a little bit uh, of a story behind that one as you heard people always ask me if that one's true and uh, although some of the details may be a little bit inaccurate I think that girl that I'm singing about or singing as in that song lives somewhere inside me and uh, I think she lives <laughs> somewhere inside all of us as well so maybe one day we'll get to see her out, come out again out of another song <laughs> all right We 
Lizzie had me going crazy for months. I know your smile got me shaky, no less. Haven't heard your voice lately, and it hurts. But my body still knows you leave me out at all the parties, and that's fine. Introduce me as a close friend. I'm always cheering on the sidelines, cause I, yeah, I, I, I will hold, just want to hold your hand, wish you could understand. called Biggest Fan. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, so that one I actually wrote um, during quarantine. I found, and I don't know if you folks have found this at home, but so much of my time, um, because I can't go out and play shows, is actually focused on the creative side of my life. And I think that can be true whether you're a musician or, uh, you know, an accountant who likes to paint or uh, somebody who likes to make silly TikToks, whatever that looks like. I think it's one of the cool things. Um, one of the positives and some of the negative that's going on is we do have a little bit more time for creative work. Um, and that song was written with Hayden McHugh, who's a really amazing pop artist here in Calgary and a good friend. And also with another fella, his name is Lost You, and he's an EDM uh, producer and songwriter from the UK. So it's really cool. Uh, we get to uh, Zoom write and hang out and have a 12 hour time difference and, and come up with songs um, together. So that one's not recorded yet, but we're working on it. And we're trying to decide, actually I have a question. We're trying to decide if we should make that one a country song, because as you can tell by my boots, I do country. 
or if we should make it an EDM song like Lost You. So let me know in the comments what your thoughts are. What's it gonna sound better as? A pop song? An EDM song? A country song? I'm not really sure. How are we doing for time, fellas? I could literally play all day, like I will actually play until they kick me off this stage, so. Another eight minutes? Okay, I'm gonna play something maybe a little more upbeat. So this is a cover song. It's off of one of my favorite records that has come out in the past couple years. It's called Truth Hurts and it's by the amazing Lizzo. And if you don't know who that is, make sure you go check her out. Why a man great till he gotta be great? I just took a DNA test, turns out I'm a hundred percent that chick. Even when I'm crying crazy, yeah, I got four problems as a human in me. Bling, bling, then I solve them as a goddess in me. You're good at a bad chick, non-committal, help you with your career, just a little. You're supposed to hold me down, but now you're holding me back. And that's a sound of me not calling you back. Hey, why you man great till they gotta be great? Don't text me, tell it straight to my face. Best friends have me down in the salon, shit. Shampoo press get you out of my head. Fresh photos with the bomb light. New man on the Minnesota Vikings. Truth hurts me to something more exciting. Bum, bum, be dum, be dum, bum, bay. You try to break my heart, oh, that breaks my heart. That you thought you ever had and know you ain't from the start. Hey, I'm glad you're back with the chick. I mean, who wanna hide this? I will never, ever, ever, ever be your side chick. I put the sink in the single. Ain't worry about a ring on my finger so you could tell your friends. Shoot your shot when you see him. It's okay, he already in my DMs. Why you man great till they gotta be great? Don't text me, tell it straight to my face. Best friends have me down in the salon chair. Shampoo press get you out of my head. Fresh photos with the bomb lighting. New man on the Minnesota Vikings. Truth hurts me, there's something more exciting. Bum, bum. I'ma hit you back in a minute I don't play tag cause I've been it We don't mess with lies We don't do goodbyes We just keep it pushing like I, I, I say I'ma hit you back in a minute I don't play tag cause I've been it We don't mess with lies We don't do goodbyes We just keep it pushing like I, I, I will why a man great till he gotta be great? Mm. Why a man great till they gotta be great? Why a man great till they gotta be great? Don't text me, tell it straight to my face. Fresh photos with the bomb lighting. New man on a Minnesota Viking. Yeah, that's a Lizzo cover. I said earlier, I'm a country singer, but I really enjoy taking songs from different genres and twisting them into jazz songs or country songs or kind of whatever feels good in the moment. Well, you know, it's been an absolute blast, uh, Chinook blast, some would say, uh, <laughs> hanging with you folks today. Um, this is Fatigue Fest put on by Stagehand, and uh, I'm just really, really thankful to be here on stage. It's been a little bit, bit of an adventure, so I thank you for sitting through me trying to pull my mask up uh, and keep everybody safe here. Um, a huge, huge thank you to the crew um, for keeping us safe and socially distanced today, to Mikey's for having us all. We appreciate you so much. I love playing this venue when things are open, and uh, it's 
pretty pretty freaking cool to get to play it even when things are closed with a, a tiny little crew audience with all you folks at home. Uh, also, this would not be possible without Calgary Arts Development, so we want to thank them. Tourism Calgary and Shaw Communication. Um, as you know, it's been a little bit of a tricky year for everyone, but live music has, has been shut down, so it just means a lot that they're supporting us. And also that all you folks are, uh, are tuning in from home and, and checking out the show. I got one more for you today. This one's called Break My Heart. And uh, I wrote it back in the day when bars were still open. And um, I was actually sitting at a bar waiting for a friend to pick me up. And um, there was a super, super beautiful bartender who was working. And uh, he had like the leather jacket and like the slick back hair and a pinup tattoo. Um, and I really wanted to talk to him because I thought he was beautiful. And Hurt So Good was playing on the radio. And I was like, I think there's a song in this. And so uh, instead of talking to him, I just sat down at the bar like a creep and uh, wrote down details about what he looked like. Uh, <laughs> so this song almost sounds like a sister song to the first so tune I played, Hands on My Body, but the truth behind it is that I never talked to the guy. So if you, ha this is a sign, when things open up, if you have a moment like that where you see somebody good looking and it's safe to do so, make sure you go say hi, because this song sounds, uh, you know, <laughs> like I go get what I want, but here's the truth. The jacket leaning on the bar with your slick back hair probably play guitar like your whiskey meat in your marble red james dean back from the dead all your trouble and i want to know more you're something i haven't had before i'm catching vibes baby i can see that you're
so much, folks, for, uh, for tuning in today. That song's called Break My Heart. It's actually going to be my next single. It's coming out in March, which is kind of exciting. I did not expect that one to be nostalgic, uh, but every time I sing about being in a bar, I feel a little bit of nostalgia. So if you want to be one of the first ones to, to check it out, um, make sure you follow me or hang out with me on YouTube or Facebook or Instagram. It's at Mariah Stokes. And again, thank you so much to Stagehand and uh, Chinook Blast and Fatigue Fest for having me. And we'll see you next time. Thank you.